Ruanzorwi. These snowy peaks from the equator are considered to be the mountains of the world that the ancient Greeks spoke of. The Ruanzorwi Massif in Africa, also called the mountains of the world, hides the splendor of its peaks behind an almost permanent wave of clouds, the wild beauty of the peaks covered with snow is revealed only when the fierce peaks break the veil of fog that envelops them. The explorer Henry Morton Stanley, the one who found Dr. Livingston, reached this mountainous massif, previously unknown to Europeans, in 1888. He noted that 300 days a year, its ridges were covered by a dark cloud, but when it dissipated, the view was grandiose, ridge after ridge rose from behind the clouds as black as night, he writes, until, at last, the whole chain of peaks, immense and splendid, drew all eyes upon itself. Ruanzorwi means the one who brings the rain, Stanley being the one who gave this name, from the language of the Bantu tribes, to the snowy mountains, located only 48 kilometers from the equator. The massif stretches for approximately 96 kilometers along the border between Uganda and the Democratic Republic of Congo. The tall peaks, covered by glacier that slowly descend to the valley, seem to touch the sky in the heart of the massif. Margareta, one of the peaks of Mount Stanley, rises to 5,110 meters high. The Duke of Abruzzi, Lungi di Savoia, was the first to climb, photograph and map the Ruanzorwi Mountains, in 1906, but their existence was known long before. More than 2,000 years ago, the Greek geographers mentioned some mysterious mountains whose torrents and snow from the peaks fed the sources of the Nile. Aristotle mentioned in the 4th century before Christ about a silver mountain in the center of Af Africa, and Ptolemy called them mountains of the world. Today they are known as Ruanzorwi. The stone that sparkles. When the fog lifts, the peaks seem to shine with a strange brightness, which is not entirely due to the snow. The stone itself sparkles, because the border rock is covered with a layer of mica, shiny, layered material, on which the temperature and pressures exerted by the tectonic movements of the planet have left their mark. The Ruanzorwi massif was not shaped, like Mount Kenya and Kilimanjaro, by volcanic activity, a huge block of land was lifted skyward and tilted less than 10 million years ago, not long ago, in geological terms. And this relative youth gives the massif the vigor evident in its ridges. The most spectacular element of the area is, probably, the bizarre vegetation, which creates a fantastic, unimaginable landscape on the slopes of the mountain. The climate also plays an important role in creating the setting. Clouds that envelop the peaks and go down to 2,700 meters maintain an extremely humid climate, and the rainiest month, November, the precipitation amounts to 510 millimeters. The permanent fog creates a sauna atmosphere and favors the appearance of lush vegetation. The plants reach unnatural dimensions, surrounded by the eternal drip of water and the specific smell of wet moss and mushrooms. The lobelias are amazing here. Species such as Lobelia wollastonii and L. bequartii, related to common garden lobelias, are three times the height of a man, and their buds are like yuccas. The crucifers, Senecio, reach the height of telegraph poles, and some species of black grass grow up to 12 meters. All these plants exceed the crown of the trees and, in fact, the lack of competition from real trees allowed them to reach such dimensions. Another factor is the acidic soil, rich in humus, in which live frames the size of a human arm. With such bizarreness, it is no wonder that this era gave rise to a large number of superstitions. The Banande population, from the area, believe that spirits live in ruins or we that throw rocks at all those who dare to trespass on their domain. Not long ago, a naturalist who had cut the stem of a giant lobelia noticed that none of his porters accepted to carry it or even touch it, fearing death. The people of Bastina also refused to touch chameleons, Camelio Jobstum, some of the oldest inhabitants of the forest in the region. With the three horns that adorn its snout, the reptile is considered an evil being, a harbinger of evil. However, there are other representatives of the animal regime in the area. The sunbird uses its curved beak to sip the nectar of the giant lobelia. The colobus monkeys with white and black fur live in the high foliage of the trees, rarely venturing to the ground, and the agile leopards prowl near the edge of the eternal snows. The most interesting creature of the mountain is the hyrax, which resembles a rabbit and looks like a guinea pig, but is not related to either. 
the animal does not have claws, but hoof-like nails, its closest relative is the elephant. This is anise it is frequently found in ruins or we, but only in the lowlands. Herds of elephants patrol with dignity through the reed and papyrus groves, like sentinels at the border of this strange mountain kingdom. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for future beautiful clips.